Well, hello there. How are you doing today? Do you feel like taking a trip on it into Dollar Tree with me? Come on in. Let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, it's just about the end of March, beginning of April, and I'm heading on into Dollar Tree to see what new items Dollar Tree is stocking their shelves with, what items are bringing me inspiration for some upcoming DIYs that I can bring to you, and what items you should most definitely be keeping your eyes open for at your local Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's head in there, and let's see what new items we can find for $1.25 that are gonna be a great deal. Come on, let's go. When you see these at Dollar Tree, these twine carrots, pick up you up and keep them in your stash. When I saw these carrot shaped gift bags, you're getting two in a pack for $1.25 burlap shaped carrot gift bags. Had to have them. I've got a DIY in store for you using these. Last year when I saw these bunny plaques, I knew I could repurpose them and make them look rustic and fun for spring. Take a look at what I did with them. For this DIY, you'll need one of these half circle wreath forms from Dollar Tree. Because I'm going rustic, a roll of burlap is gonna be needed. This burlap is perfect for covering up this wire wreath form. So just by hot gluing one end of the burlap to the wreath form itself, you can then, yep, just wrap the wreath form. One roll of burlap is going to be plenty. Bottle brush carrots, amazing. I love these. These are adorable to come in this pack. I just showed these in my recent new finds at Dollar Tree, so you should be able to find them right about now. Only I'm not much liking the raffia bow because they're kind of unruly looking. They're not very neat and I feel like these need a twine bow instead of a raffia bow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all of the raffia bows and replace them with some cream twine. Yep, I'm switching it up a bit, but twine is twine. I'm doing this bow a couple strands thick just to give it a bit of substance. Where did I find cream twine at? Michael's or Hobby Lobby. You can get it for $1.99 a spool, which is not a bad buy. And yes, each of these bottle brush rustic carrots is going to be finished off with a cream twine bow. And these rustic carrots, they're going to go on the wire wreath form that we covered with burlap. Yep. I'm going to place them and evenly space them apart because, again, I like to see the burlap in between the carrots and I didn't want to buy Dollar Tree out of all their bottle brush carrots. I wanted to save some for other people, so I figured I was pushing my luck taking five of them. Kind of felt guilty about that, but I knew I needed at least five for this, and so, yeah, this DIY is going to be worth it. I wasn't much liking how the ends of this wreath form looked. It looks unfinished, it looks messy. So I pulled out some of my thicker twine. This is a jute cord that you can get at Walmart for about $2.99 for a two pound roll. And I figured I'd just do a couple rows of this on the end, giving it a more finished look. And finishing it off with a regular twine bow on each end. Oh wait, we are so not done with this DIY because there's a second part that's going to be added onto this wreath. This wreath is super cute just the way it is, right? But oh no, I'm adding more rusticness to this. Is there such a word as rusticness? Okay, well there is now. Using one of these bunny plaques, this is a wall decor plaque, we've all seen these. I'm going to remove this spring banner, but I am not going to discard it because we are going to reuse it here in a bit. But to this bunny, this bunny is going to get a good healthy coat of, guess what? That is not Waverly chalk paint. Oh no, that's Mod Podge. Yes, what am I going to cover this bunny with? Oh, just wait for it. 
Yes, I am pulling out the white birch wood looking ribbon. 18 feet of it comes on this roll. Awesome. To adhere the ribbon onto our bunny plaque, you're first gonna wanna put a nice, good, healthy coating of some Mod Podge. Then you can go ahead and lie your ribbon down on top of that Mod Podge. But because our ribbon is only three inches thick, we're gonna have to add several pieces of ribbon. What's great about this is when you place the ribbon side by side, the seam where they meet is invisible. It is amazing. I am over the moon excited about that. And so it's gonna take, I think, four pieces of ribbon to cover this bunny, which isn't bad. We've got 18 feet of this in one spool and I have four spools, which means, oh my word, you can count on seeing this ribbon in other DIYs. So don't get sick of it yet. Once the ribbon is placed, I'm gonna go back over the top of the ribbon with another coating of Mod Podge. This is gonna stiffen up that ribbon, in turn making it a lot easier to cut off the excess ribbon from around the plaque. Once the Mod Podge is good and dry on our plaque, we're good to go. We can cut off that excess ribbon and I'm gonna do so by using a safety razor, a safety cutter. It's always best to use a fresh, sharp blade because then you're gonna get a cleaner cut and just using the plaque itself as a guide, I'm gonna cut off that extra ribbon. Before I altered this plaque, this bunny had a ribbon around its waist with a bow and so I wanted to add a rustic ribbon. So what better way to add a rustic ribbon than to do it with some burlap? Perfect, right? I folded my burlap in half. This is a dark brown burlap roll that Dollar Tree has. It's just like the light brown one that I used to cover the wreath form with. And so by folding it in half, it's gonna elevate it a bit, which I wanted. I wanted to give this dimension and not just cut a strip because if you cut it in half, the one strip you're gonna see through the burlap and you're gonna see the wood background and that was kind of what I wanted to avoid. So by folding it in half, just like you see me doing here and adding more Mod Podge to the top of it, this is gonna keep it down. I did cut it a bit longer than the plaque itself so I could hot glue it to the back to really ensure that it stays on. This burlap is the perfect color up against the wood ribbon. Not quite dry yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on anyway to that burlap. Yep. I'm gonna add a twine bow. I'm using the lighter twine because had I used a darker one, it would have gotten lost up against that burlap and I really want the bow to stand out. And it really just kind of adds to the rustic feel of this. Don't you think? Ah, perfect. This spring banner definitely needs more of a rustic feel. So to do that, I'm gonna go in with some of Waverly Shock Paint in the color of Hazelnut. One of my favorite things to DIY at Dollar Tree is their wall decor plaques because you're not only getting the plaque itself, but usually the plaques come with an embellishment on them that you can reuse. And so just by putting your own spin and your own touch on it, you can make it suit your decor style easily. And so like I said, you're not only getting that plaque, but you're getting an embellishment too. So it's kind of like a two for one. This banner is ready to go back where it once was, only it looks better now because it looks more rustic. Yes. You can see that you can still see the letters, the imprint of the letters anyway on the banner. So if you wanna go back over them with maybe a brown or black Sharpie or some black paint, you can totally do that. I dug into my stash and decided to use some of the sticker letters that I had. Dollar Tree's got sticker letters too. You can use those but I'm gonna go this route just to use up some of those items that I've got in my stash that I haven't been using lately. Now it's time to put the two together. Oh my word, would you look at this? I am loving this. How am I gonna put this together? I'm gonna use some of this thicker twine or the jute cord, like I said that I got from Walmart. Just by flipping this over onto the back, I cut four pieces of twine that I'm just gonna glue to each ear and to the hands themselves. Then I'm gonna just flip it right back over onto the front so I can place this evenly where I want it to be placed. And just by putting some hot glue on 
the twine or jute cord itself, then laying my pieces down on top of it, I will have the perfect placing. And not only will I have this adorable rustic carrot wreath, but I'm gonna have this rustic bunny hanging right below it. I love this. Easter rustic farmhouse, my favorite. On the back side to hang it up, I'm gonna use my favorite go-to method, which is the free method of adding some twine and just pounding it with a ton of hot glue. Let's go take a look at this. These cute plaques caught my eye. Haven't seen them before. Picked a couple of these up. And I also saw that Dollar Tree has some new floral picks that look very similar to the lamb ears at Walmart. So I picked up what I saw there. And I also saw these green leafy picks. Pick these up. Do I have a DIY for you? And I saw these taller kind of lamb ears picks. Love these. In the garden section, I'm seeing these wood picks. This is a new item that I've never seen before. They came in several different, I guess, shapes. We've got this butterfly, this kind of leafy type one. We've got a tulip here, another butterfly, kind of a sunflower or flower, another leaf. So it's just more of the same, but I just thought that these were really cool. Such a fun new item for your garden. And I'm seeing these wood garden words. This is something new that I've never seen before. I picked up a couple of those. And how about these garden chalkboard ornaments? So cute. And I'm also seeing these craft wood animal sticks that would make great um, labels for your garden. And we've got galvanized tags. You're getting two in a pack. These are great for your garden as well. Why not add a wooden garden gnome? Here in the craft section, I'm seeing that Dollar Tree has some burlap rolls, decorative ones. This was all I was seeing at first and I kind of was excited that at least I found these, so I decided to pick that one up. I was really loving the new fabric fat quarters, kind of that denim feel. When I looked up, I saw a whole box of the burlap rolls. Come on, Kelly, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, there we go. There they are. Look at how cute this one is, this daisy one. I also saw the Dollar Trees got their crates in again. Boy, do I have a hack for you using these. Picked up two of them. With these, if you take them because they are stackable, in one of them you can put your trash bags. And if you take your trash bag and feed it through the handle, how great is that? You've got a trash bag dispenser but then you can go ahead and stack another crate on top of it and you can place your sponges and use it for whatever storage you need, maybe dishwasher pods if you want. I've got a cute container for those, so I'm gonna use this top one for my sponges, my extra sponges so I have easy access. Yep, a scrub mommy. And look at how perfectly I've got a spot right down here for it. It's gonna fit perfectly instead of just putting that roll of trash bags there and you can easily just pull it out to dispense i'm doing this one-handed okay to dispense your trash bag i like to keep all the drawers in my house organized these bins are perfect for that in the past i've always only seen white now they've got gray which is amazing i'm gonna pick up a few of these to put in ray's house they have them in all the same sizes. I think it's gonna hide the dirt just a bit more. And I saw these new butter containers. I love these because they snap close. Dollar Tree has always had these containers. Wasn't a big fan, but now that I saw these, yep. And how about this new spring line of flatware, flatware, flatware is utensils, dishware. There we go, Kelly, that's a pretty set. This set here reminded me of the blue and white set that my grandma always had when I was growing up. Just a small reminder of it, kind of a bit of nostalgia, but I thought that this was a cool set as well. I think a great buy at the Dollar Tree are their cube organizing bins. And when I saw these with the starfish, this kind of sea life, 
nautical look. These are actually really gorgeous. Keep your eye open for those. Yeah, if we thought the wood bead rings were amazing when it was just the raw wood, look at the brown and the black one that you can find now. Oh my word, a little bit obsessed, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, here's more of the black ones as if you didn't see those. This was a different Dollar Tree. I went to a couple this day looking for things, but I thought this feather wood plaque was awesome. It came in two different colors and styles. Yeah, embroidery sets, mini ones, small ones. They came with the, I don't know, felt and something else. This one was a felt one. That's kind of cool. And then this one with whatever that fabric is, the canvas maybe? For $1.25, great little things. They've got bigger birdhouses now. I am a fan of Dollar Tree birdhouses. And I'm seeing a new line that was similar to the pegboard, but not. This is a wire net set. These are the connectors. They've got all kinds of fun accessories to add to it. I wasn't sure what to make of it when I saw these accessories. I knew there had to be more. Yep, went down the office aisle and found the square shaped wire net. And those connectors connected together and you can use it in your office for like a pegboard maybe is what I'm guessing. This is definitely a new system. How about a tablet stand? Love that, I did pick up one of these. Always need a good stand. This was a cool find. This craft binder, this craft paper binder, how fun is that would that be for a scrapbook or a junk journal? And they even have a pen holder. I love that. I found some pens that go with this set, paper barrel pens. Can I just tell you, I love these and they write perfectly. These words with rope. Now we know we can add rope to the words that Dollar Tree already has, but this is new and it is in with their nautical and sea, I guess, decor, beach decor. We've got some words here that say relax, that you could add wood to, wood to, rope to, beach, and breathe. Look at all the fun beach decor. Not gonna lie, I picked up a few things for Kayla and Allie's bathroom because their bathroom is beach. Love the towel hooks, so cute. Look at how amazing this is. Those wood fish, these baskets are everything. I picked up four of these to put in their bathroom. Such fun items, love, love, love this stuff. And all their glassware is so fun to store maybe bobby pins or rubber bands in. Yeah, super cute. Look at the stencil, the letter stencil. I was loving this. It's a good size font. Doesn't have to be for just beach, so I would pick it up because it's a great alternative to the Cricut and stickers. And we've got some jewelry holders or slash soap holders. Found some mesh ribbon in two different colors. This felt pretty cool. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I picked up two um, of each, this neutral color and the green. Pretty cool. Have you seen these Bosco breadsticks? If you haven't, you need to pick these up. These are kind of a garlic stick with mozzarella cheese in them. You put these in your air fryer. Can I just tell you, they are delicious. Try them. Here's a hack. Pick up some Colgate toothpaste, any toothpaste that has baking soda and peroxide in it. I'm picking up three because I have a toilet. Now I am clean. This is not what you think it is. It is stained from the inside of my toilet. It comes about every couple of days. So much so that we have to keep cleaner above the toilet because I can't stand the look of it. Once I got this clean, I saw a hack where if we take toothpaste that has peroxide, whitening, and baking soda in it, you puncture the tube. You want some good size punctures just like I'm doing here. I'm just using a knife to do that. And I'm gonna put several in this. So you're gonna have something that looks like this. Removing the lid from the back of my toilet, you will see that this is why the inside of my toilet turns brown. I probably need a new toilet itself, but I'm not going to yet. I'm gonna place my toothpaste there in the tank. And when I flush, it's going to keep that brown from adhering to the inside of my toilet. That 
there are all the new finds that I found at my local Dollar Tree that I think you should most definitely be keeping your eye open for at your local Dollar Tree. These are items that you can most definitely expect to be seeing in some upcoming DIYs. If you're looking for some DIY inspiration today, go ahead and click on the video right over here and it'll take you to one of my past favorites. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Happy everything on a budget. Happy shopping on a budget. Is there such a thing? I don't know. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody.